we've been driving towards an agreement with China which would give U.S. companies greater access to control their own technology in investing in the Chinese market. And, and yet, at the same time, we're, we're basically going to be saying that because of concerns about the Chinese government's control over um, its major companies, that there's too much of a threat of you know, technological cyber security risks to the U.S. to allow companies like Huawei to operate here. And, you know, I understand entirely why the administration has these concerns. I think there are very serious and legitimate concerns over the Chinese government's control over its large technology companies and how that control could be used for, you know, everything from cyber theft mm -hmm. to, to national security threats. But it is does introduce a, a great deal of complexity into um, a negotiation where we're trying to push China to open its market to cross-border data flows to, uh, to IP and investments. So um, this is going to be interesting to watch. It's, it's, it's certainly become a more complex picture now. We're focused a lot on China, and rightfully so, Rufus. But as we've yeah. pointed out many times on this show and this network, our trade with Mexico and Canada is far bigger. We sell about 120 billion more per year to Mexico than we do to China, about the same with Canada. What's the status of the, quote, new NAFTA, the unfortunately named USMCA? Why isn't that getting more attention when it's clearly far more important economically, at least in the near term? Well, in the near term, it is important. And, and the most important thing is to make sure that you know, this big success we've had in sort of integrating the North American economy to make us more competitive globally. So we're able to compete with China better because we have, you know, this integrated platform with Canada and Mexico. It's not just our exports to Canada and Mexico. It's, it's the fact that we've developed this North American economy. So, you know, the risk that that falls apart is very significant, uh, particularly if the, if the administration takes the view that it's USMCA or nothing. I, I hope they don't do that. But I also hope that the Congress can begin to move expeditiously on this USMCA agreement. It's an important agreement. I think that there are some steps that can be taken to ensure that it gets through the Congress. But it's going to be a tough fight. I think the administration has to do something about these steel and aluminum tariffs that we've imposed on Canada and Mexico, get those out of the way so that there's more incentive both for U.S. Uh, agriculture yeah. and other industries, but also for Canada and Mexico. And then, you know, there is a problem here, Brian, with uh, how Nancy Pelosi and President Trump can um, reach some kind of, a, of an agreement on going forward with this deal. That's really the big blockage now.